for Noco HQ. And in today's tutorial, we'll take a look at um, how to basically create an automatic uh, weekly newsletter um, within your Bubble application without using any external services such as MailChimp or ConvertKit or other email services. We'll only use Bubble's um, internal tools or capabilities based to do that. And what we're going to do? Um, we're going to assume we have an application where um, users uh, submit uh, their products, a bit similar to Product Hunt. And what we want to do, every week we want to send an automatic email um, using Bubble to all our users, which are subscribers, where we show them the top three most upvoted products with the information, the name of the product, um, an image, and also um, a link so that they can take a look at the listing. And... Uh, as I mentioned already, we'll do all of this with Bubble and you only will need a Bubble account to create this. And um, yeah, what you want to do, you want to click on create a new app and you're going to be shown this pop-up. So I'm just going to give my app a name. So um, weekly update email, that's just the way I'm going to call my application. Let's click on create a new app. You can leave the other fields here blank. And you'll be brought into um, the application editor and the application assistant here will appear. But we want to start with a blank page. Um, let's also close the assistant and let's make the width um, of this page to 900 maybe. And the focus of this application or this tutorial won't be to show you how to build the UI of a product hunt uh, style uh, application. We have another tutorial for this and a template as well. But this should be more to show you how to schedule regular um, basically API workflows within your bubble app and how to make nice dynamic emails um, um, using searches within our database. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to going to go to data and we want to um, have two data types. For one, the user data type, which is automatically created, which consists of email, modified date, created date. Let's also say we have the name of the user uh, or the username, um, the field which, which is of type text. And we also have um, a field which is going to be called subscribed question mark and it's a field type of yes, no. So basically, um, when a user signs up to your application, he can he or she can choose if um, if they want to subscribe to the newsletter. Default is no, but uh, they can opt in to subscribe to the newsletter, and we will only send emails to users where the where they're subscribed. Okay, let's create our um, new type, which I'm just gonna call um, a product. Okay, and these are just products that are submitted by users throughout the week. Again, similar to Product Hunt, and you can decide what should be here. I'm just going to uh, have a product name, which is of type text. We have a description. Um, we have um, um, a link to the product itself, which is of text, and an image um, as well, which is of type image, of course. And what's also important, we will have a field called upvotes, uh, which is just a number, so an integer. And this will uh, basically specify how much upvotes the product get, uh, got. And this will show us how popular this product was. And we will use this field to um, filter by the top three most upvoted products, which we'll use in our um, weekly email. Okay, the next thing you want to do, um, you want to actually go to settings. Okay. And under API, you want to expose or say this app exposed a workflow API. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Next, you want to go um, to uh, API workflows, which is a new basically section here, which is created if you check the checkbox from before. And under API workflows, you want to schedule um, a, a new API endpoint. Okay. And we want to say, okay, this endpoint name is just weekly newsletter. Okay. Um, this should be a public endpoint uh, and so on. We want to add some parameters. So we want to add um, one parameter, which is user. Okay. And actually, we just want to add this one parameter. This parameter, which is of key user, is of type user as well. So we're going to give this endpoint just a user. And we now have access to this current user, which is uh, basically applied to this um, workflow. Okay. So we now can go to um, our workflow and create the action itself. And this is going to be quite easy now. Uh, we're just going to say, okay, we want to send an email. Okay. We want to send an email to the users, which is the one we basically um, give to this endpoint. The user's email, of course, only when the user subscribed um, is yes. Okay. Sender name could be whatever your 
I don't know, startup is called, or I'm just going to call it NoCageQ, subject, weekly product, roundup, okay? And uh, we can now specify what this email should say. And what comes quite handy uh, now is the rich text editor here provided by Bubble, where you can make the email look a bit nicer. So I'm just going to say, um, hey, um, hey, user's username, um, this is your weekly roundup of the top three upvoted products this week. Enjoy. Something like this. And now we have a list, or we should have a list of all products. So what we're going to do, we're going to give an uh, adder number one here, okay? And we're going to say, okay, this should be do a search for all the products in our database, sort by the upvotes descending yes, okay? And the constraint should be um, the creation date, not the created by, sorry, the creation date, so the creation created date, okay, should be bigger than the current date time minus seven days, okay? So basically this will ensure that the products that we're searching for here in this search will only return products which were uploaded in the last seven days. This will just help us to ensure that this will be um, a, a weekly newsletter of weekly products and not um, all-time products. So otherwise, maybe the same product would be sent in an email every week. Okay, great. And now we can just say, okay, we want to search for products, sort by upvote. So the first, basically the first item in this list, which is returned, will have the nice highest number of upvotes within the current week. And we can now say, okay, we want to fetch item number one from this list, name. And that's basically it. This whole search phrase here will just return the name of the number one upvoted um, product uh, within your um, basically within your database of this week. Okay, and what we can do, we can just add uh, basically the same search phrase below that. And I'm just gonna say, okay, um, this should say um, again, do a search for um, product where created date is bigger. Sorry, not created by again, same mistake. Created date is bigger than the current date time minus seven days. Sort by upvotes descending yes. And this time we want to fetch again item number one description. Okay. And um, the last thing um, I want to do. Uh, I want to add the link, but I actually want to add it not as the link itself, but just as a hyperlink. So I'm just going to add the text to your link. I'm going to go to the rich text editor now. Let's actually make this bold here. And for the link, I'm going to insert a link here. I'm just going to write something because we're going to remove that in a second. Okay, let's click save. And now we can just insert the link within this URL field here. So I'm just going to say, okay, again, same thing. Do a search for product where created date is bigger than current date time minus seven days, sorted by upvotes descending. Yes, item number one, um, link. And that's basically it. This is the general structure um, of our newsletter. Um, you could, of course, add uh, basically more information. Here we're adding the description. You could add the upvotes themselves, the creator. We can also add an image via the rich text editor again. So just inserting... Um, this image field here and enter the URL, the same as before. Um, but I'm going to keep it uh, quite simple as of now. And I'm going to add the second product now. So the second product is going to be number sec second, basically. So this time it's going to be the uh, same thing. Search for products where created date is bigger than current date time, minus seven days, sorted by upvotes, descending, yes, only difference now is we're going to fetch item number two. So the second most upvoted item and its name. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead now and basically insert the same. So the description and the link for the product two and the product three, um, which is just the same procedure as I did before, but I'm going to skip that for you. Um, so um, I'll see you back in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm done basically crafting this uh, weekly newsletter. Just to summarize, we have, hey, 
the, the user's username. This is your weekly roundup of the top three upvoter products this week. Enjoy. We have the number one product of the current week's name, then a the description, then the link. Um, we have the number two items or the second most upvoted items name, description, and then the link, and the third most upvoted uh, item. Uh, as I, I'm just seeing right now, this URL of Bubble is here. We don't need that. We can actually just delete that quickly uh, like this. And um, I think that's automatically inserted. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a nice structure. Um, so what you want to do now, um, let's actually close this. Okay. Okay, so we now have this uh, endpoint here um, basically triggered. And there's no multiple way... Um, Okay, so we now have this endpoint here um, set with our email, and there are multiple ways now you can trigger this um, endpoint. One simple way, uh, which you can do without having a premium uh, subscription, basically, um, is just basically, I'm going to add a button here just to demonstrate it to you, okay? And I'm going to center this button, start editor workflow when this is pressed. So when this is pressed, we want to schedule an API workflow, okay, on a list, okay? And we want to schedule this API workflow on a list of users. The list to run it on is do a search for users where the subscribed field is equal to yes. Okay. The API workflow that we want to schedule is the one called weekly newsletter, the one that we just created. The scheduled date should be just be now. The interval in seconds, that depends on how fast you want each email to be sent, but I'm going to set it to 20 so that there won't be any um, performance issues. And the user we're giving to this uh, uh, basically API endpoint is just this user. And this user refers to whatever the current user in this list is. Okay. And what will happen now, let's say you have like your admin panel within your bubble app. And now what you have to do, just every week or every time you want to send this um, newsletter, you just press on this button um, and Bubble will automatically run the newsletter on every um, user that has subscribed and will send all the latest three up, most, up, most upvoted products. The only thing now, I won't demonstrate this because this is um, a premium feature. So as it says, this action is only accessible with the Bubble API scheduler and you have to upgrade um, to actually use that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, make it quite simple. I'm going to go back to um, API workflows. I'm just going to copy this email style just to show you uh, that will work. Let's go back and let's change the button. It shouldn't schedule the API workflow. It should just send the email. So let's just paste that and it should send the email to, um, let's clear that, to info at nocodehq.com. And we're gonna, not going to say, hey, user. It's just going to say, hey, okay. I'm just doing this to uh, show you um, that this email structure here works and that the top three products are fetched. But before I'm going to do that, I'm actually going to go over to data. And of course, we have to create some products. So under app data, I'm going to go to all products and let's click on new entry and we can create a few products. I'm going to create NoCo HQ. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave the image field blank. Uh, number one, the best no code platform. Okay. Let's say upvotes 100. Okay, and let's click create. Let's create a second um, up basically post. So this is going to be anti code, anti code DE, description, software, no code software agency, and upvotes, let's say 80. And let's also have a third product, which is a sidebot. The link is. Mm -hmm. Description, chatbot based personal website builder. Let's say this product has 60 upvotes. And let's also create a fourth product just to show you that only our top three products, which will be this, this, and this, will be uh, sent in the email. So I'm going to create a third product, which is going to be called random product. Um, let's just have like this as well. Description, this is a test. And let's say this only has 15 products, it wasn't that successful. So it's the fourth most um, upvoted product. And in this case, it won't be displayed in our newsletter or in our email because we only display the top three products. And let's actually go ahead and test that. So I'm going to just preview our application. And I'm just going to click on the button to see if the email sending works. So let me just click on that. Okay, I'm now going to open my email program. 
Okay, as you can see, uh, I just opened my mail program and I've got the email from NoQHQ, which is just the weekly update email that Bubble.io uh, email address, weekly product roundup, to this email address and the text, hey, this is your weekly roundup of the top three upvoted products this week, enjoy. Number one, NoQHQ, it's bold. We have the best NoCore platform. We have this hyperlink, which we can press and the link will open basically. Um, we have the number two and the number three of the description and the link. Uh, one space just I forgot here, but yeah, as you can see, this works really nicely. The top three most upvoted products are fetched from our database and displayed as an email. Just to show you, let me actually go ahead and to our database, let's change the number of upvotes for uh, this, the random product, from 15 to 70. So this will now be our second most upvoted product. And let's just now send the email again. And if I go to my email now, um, so I've just received um, a new email right now and this time as you can see the third place is the random product with the description this is a test and the link and not sidebot because now this is the third most uh, upvoted product um, of, the, of the week. And yeah that's basically it. Um, just again just so that you know um, I just did that button here with the uh, automatic email or with the email um, as a demo base to show you that the email itself works. What you want to do is you want to actually use this uh, endpoint here and um, basically schedule that either every week or you can also either uh, even create a recurring event and then set a recurring event. So what you can do, you can just quickly create a recurring event here. Uh, I won't fill that in, but here you can say, okay, custom events, I want to set a recurring event. The recurring event I want to set is this new recurring event and the frequency is weekly, for example. Okay, and the start date is just now. And what you can do, you can just uh, uh, schedule this, uh, just put this uh, endpoint in here. We can say, okay, custom event. I want to um, schedule API workflow on a list. I want to say type of things. Um, um, again, user list to run on. Do a search for user uh, where subscribed is yes. API workflow is weekly newsletter, scheduled date, current date time. Interval 20 seconds user is this user and that should work fine. So what this does now is basically It sets a new recurring event here. We're setting a new recurring event You would put that somewhere else of course, but you can set a new recurring event You decide which recurring event how often it should run when it should start and our recurring event in this case will schedule our API workflow and run it automatically each week without you having to do anything and it's a great way to automate a newsletter and you don't have to use any external services and you don't have to um, build the newsletter every week. Of course, you could add images as well, more information, um, add more than three products um, and design um, the newsletter according to your needs. But yeah, I think that's a great introduction into um, scheduled workflows and recurring events and, and automatically created dynamic newsletters within Bubble. I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCoHQ. Bye.